Hello and welcome back to Benjamite Gaming, where it's my goal to bring you fun and fantastic Dofus PVM content. We are here for another episode of our quest to 200 as we follow along the main storyline of Dofus, but a few things to go over first. If you haven't noticed already, I got a new microphone. In fact, the blue snowball was the very first gear equipment upgrade I made. I remember one of my very first videos, the first feedback I got from somebody, because I used to just use a PlayStation 4 headset, was please get a microphone. And I was so glad I took their advice because upgrading from that made me stop sounding like this and actually gave me a pretty clear voice. Now, the only downside about this snowball is it picks up the sound of everything, even the sound of my fans and my PC it would pick that up as well. And I couldn't boost my voice in my videos without also boosting all the background noise. This thing isolates it very nicely. In fact, here's a quick little clip to just show you the comparison between the snowball and this microphone. Hello, okay, here's a test. I wanna try the two different mics side by side. Here they sound. Snowball. Okay, here we are. Testing the other mic. This is the previous one. Let's see how that sounds. So as you can see, pretty big difference. So I hope you guys like how clear and crisp my voice is coming through. Now I don't have a pop filter on this. This actually has a built-in filter of sorts, but I do have one I could put over it. So if it sounds like there's a lot of popping sounds and things like that coming through the microphone, please let me know in the comments so I know I probably should put that extra filter on there just to kind of help with the sound. Second thing I want to mention is I still have one more code to give away from Ankama, which gives you the YouTube cloak. I gave three away in my live stream not too long ago, and I saved one to use in a video just in case anybody wanted to try to earn one that wasn't able to attend the live stream. So this is how you enter into the giveaway. It's pretty simple. Just in the comments below, I just want you to put what your favorite video has been of mine and why. It doesn't have to be very detailed. You can even say you don't have a favorite video, but hopefully you can just go down there. Let me know. It, maybe it's the, in the quest series. It's one of my, my tailor guides or whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I just love to hear back from you guys on what your favorite video was and maybe why you really liked that video. And that's all you got to do by June 20th. So you got close to a week, hoping to get this video put together fairly quickly. So you got close to a week to get your entry on the 21st. I'm going to take all those comments, put it into a random selector, and it'll pull out a random name and you'll be the winner. And then I'll reach out to the winner directly through YouTube. And the last thing I just wanted to mention is I got my first stream team video out there and I can't thank you all enough for the amazing positive feedback you gave me on that. I was a little nervous because most of the stuff on my channel has a lot of editing, a lot of polish I put to it. That was one of the first videos that I put together where there really wasn't much of anything. I just kind of put it together. In fact, I probably spent more time putting that thumbnail together than I did in any of the editing on that video. So it was so cool to just have a laid back, chill, fun time playing the game, put it together in a video and upload it. And I didn't know how it was going to go, but you guys all loved it. And it was so fantastic to see how much you guys enjoyed that and encouraged me to continue that series. So that's an easy way for me to try to get you guys more of my content and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So thank you so much again for all the feedback and positive kind words and stuff you gave me on that. I'll have more of those for you here real soon because they're pretty easy for me to make. All right, well, with all that out of the way, let's do this. So in our last video, we just wrapped up the Dokuku Dofus quest line Oh, that was fantastic. That's the biggest dofus we've gotten so far on our team. Where we're picking up here is we just got our babies and we need to talk to Edom here and let her know the next step in that quest. Now, I don't know what all happens after this. I've mentioned it, I think, in the last video. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in the Emerald Dofus quest line. I've never made it past this point. So literally everything from here forward will be brand new for me and will be exciting to see. So let's talk to Edom and see what she has to say. Give lesson on breeding. I'm waiting. What are you going to teach me? How to help a mount give birth. 
Not that we really had a whole lot to do with that. I'm surprised to discover that you, of all people, have such a motherly side. You must really love Drago turkeys to take such care of them. It's endearing. <laughs> Continue the lesson. Oh, I got nervous there for a second. It says, I'm waiting. I'm like, no, there's another step. All right, congratulate Edom. Tell her that she's well on her way to becoming a great breeder. Really? Oh my days. I can't believe it was this simple. Seriously, those lessons flew right by. I don't know. It's been a few weeks in the process. My brother's going to kill me. It took me so long. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will follow in my father's footsteps after all. You should go and tell him right away. Go and see Ugias. All right, let's zip over here to him. Announce that you've talked Edom into taking up a career in breeding. Really? I can't believe my ears. I'm exceedingly grateful. Well, just as I promised, I shall try to look to the future and pay no heed to those painful old memories. Take out the compass and observe that the needle is still. Is there a problem? You seem worried. Ask if he is in possession of an ancient object that has some link to Dark Vlad. Me? No way. Why would I keep a relic linked to that sinister character? Unless... You don't mean the stone in the royal stables, do you? Find out more. That stone is the last vestige of the royal stables that were destroyed in the fire. These days, it's in the middle of the arch that made the entrance to the breeder's quarter. Say thank you and leave. All right, looks like it marked it here on the map. Let's zip over here to take a look at that. Here we are, negative 3457, and if we click our Y button, it highlights part of that stone there. So let's see what happens when we click it. Ooh, birth of a mission updated. You, uh, you take the compass and hold your arm in the direction of the stone arch. The needle begins to spin. Okay, use the compass. All right. Over here. Double click. Uh, let's see, you received one marina's compass. Well, what did that do? All right, well, let's see. Here we go. It doesn't say anything. It's just marked. Two, negative 14. All right, Astrid. Haven't been there in a little while. All right, let's take off back down to Astrid. All right, we are just down in the Astrid Cemetery. And I'm assuming Nestrocolamus is who it is we need to talk to. He's got a cool looking staff. That's pretty nice looking. Hmm. Is there a spirit available to keep me company? Yoo hoo. Yoo hoo. No one? Mundi palate e spiritus minima. Come to me, spirits. Yoo hoo. <laughs> this guy seems a little freaky. Ask him if he's seen Dark Vlad in the area. Dark Vlad? Here. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Hmm, wait a second. That's actually not that stupid. The spirits are so agitated, it could easily be due to the presence of the Lord of the Evil Forest. By the Twelve and Meridia reunited, why didn't I think of this before? Dark Vlad has invaded the cemetery. Help! Priest, women, and children first! Leave him to his ramblings and set off to explore the area in search of Dark Vlad. <laughs> so he thinks Dark Vlad is in the area. I wonder, let's see, maybe I use the compass again? Did that do anything? Let's take a look at the map. Well, it still has a marker here. Okay, well maybe what we do is just kind of explore the cemetery. Maybe he's like on a random map or something. Okay, give me just a second to complete that step with everybody else. Okay, it looks like he's down here in the cemetery area. I think it said negative four, negative nine, which is right over here, real close to that zap. So let's zip over there and see if Dark Vlad is there. Oh my goodness, there he is. Man, we haven't seen him since he kicked us out of the forest way back in one of those earlier episodes. Man, it feels like forever since we've seen him. All right, so let's talk to Dark Vlad. Oh my gosh, it's Dark Vlad. Okay, this is cool. 
actually just went back to double check. This was before I started using voices for some of the characters, so I never gave Dark Vlad a unique voice. So to try to stick with the theme, I'm just going to read it kind of like I did then. Who dares disturb me? Another one of those pathetic adventures. Go back where you came from while you still have your life. Reply that you've been looking for him for ages. Feels like ages. Really? And why would I be interested? You've been warned, Worm. I don't normally grant favors such as that to a pile of ashes. Points his flaming sword in our direction. Unleash our weapon. Die! Attempt to resist Dark Vlad's attack. Hope. <laughs> wow. You have succumbed to your injuries. You can free your soul so you can go back to the nearest cemetery. What? You don't even get a chance to fight him? Oh, now that kind of sucks. Now, I wonder how many people on the Heroic and the Epic servers lose their character right there. <laughs> no, I'm assuming that they don't actually lose their character this, but that's messed up. You are now traveling the spirit world. If you want to return to the living world, you must find a phoenix statue or a healer. Next time, do not forget to keep your energy up by resting in inns and drinking potions. Well, that wasn't my fault. I didn't have anything to do with it. Call me King Innie. <laughs> well, let's kill the rest of the team real fast. Aw. We don't look so good. Even the beard doesn't look as glorious as usual. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Okay, so I assume we go back. Yep. Let's head back to the Phoenix. all of our glory let's hop back up on our pets well if he can just one shot us like that I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to fight this guy all right well I'm gonna guess that maybe we use our compass again so let's see what happens we do that Ooh, we got a new location talk to Marina again okay so we're gonna head over there to the swamp and talk to Marina Hopefully, she's got some little bobbly concoction we can drink that's going to make us safe. <laughs> All right, let's head over there. All right, here we are. Wow, we haven't been back to Marina in a long time, too. I, I looked it up real fast, and not only was the encounter with Dark Vlad back before I was using voices for characters, but it was also back before I even had a webcam. I feel like I've had a webcam forever now, so to realize it's that far back is... Kind of, kind of wild. We have been looking for this guy for a while. All right. Marina, let's see what you have to say. Hold out the compass and announce that things are not really going to plan. <laughs> no, they definitely were not. What happened? You found Dark Flat, but the magic protection didn't work? Well, that is unexpected to say the least. Oh yeah, she had us drink that really gross potion. The enchantment never fails. Let me think. Perhaps drinking the entire cauldron, no, would probably explode. Well, that would be amusing, but no, that's not our goal. <laughs> Agree that that's a bad idea. Yeah, we're trying to kill Dark Vlad, not us. <laughs> I fear I have underestimated your adversary. Go in search of memories that he has substantially changed. He is much more powerful than before. We must change our tactics. Have you ever dreamed of transforming into a dragon? Well then, happy day. Your dreams are about to be realized. Oh, apparently I have dreamed of being a dragon. We are going to reconstruct Prismaradoth's talisman. Ask for some explanation. Prismaradoth is a very ancient dragon. 
By wearing the talisman, you'll become a reflection of him. You will receive the courage, endurance, and ferocity required to confront the new Dark Vlad. But reconstructing the talisman will not be easy. His power emanates from scales, dragon scales. There are several sizes as well. Those which we will need were guarded in a secure, undisclosed location, but they were stolen, and not just by anybody. The ones responsible were none other than the three Cania bandits. Find out more about these sorry individuals. We know them as Gnome Cop Woodley, Edassi the Killjoy, and Irats the Protester. From what I know, each of them has a scale. Doubtless they hope to strike it rich. You will therefore confront them or find another way to acquire these treasured possessions. The most difficult part will no doubt be tracking them down. Cania is vast. The seer at the troll fair can maybe help you by using her divining eye to find signs of their presence. Say that you're ready to go hunting. One more thing. Scales can be fragmented and splintered. If you find several pieces, it is possible to assemble them to reconstruct a complete scale. I have a workshop which will allow you to do the necessary crafting. Thank you for this information. Oh my goodness, look at that. I wasn't even paying attention. We completed another step. New quest. Scale of courage, ferocity, and endurance. All right. I'm curious. Look at that. Officially the furthest I've ever been. This is exciting. The Cania Bandits. All right. Well, let's see. She said something about a workbench. Uh, recreate a scale. I just want to see what this looks like here. Okay. I've seen these before. In fact, I think I have one of these and one of these. And it needs a gleaming petal. So I need to get one of these scales for each person. All right, let me complete that step of the quest with my whole team. Give me just a second. Okay, I took care of that with each person. Now, it says that I can go talk to the lady at the troll fair. That's not the troll fair. Here we are at negative 940. Okay, right up here, and apparently talking to her will let me know if any of these bandits are available to be found. Because I guess they respawn every 6 to 18 hours. And man, I sure hope this isn't going to be another long drawn out section where I'm waiting for something to respawn so that I can capture it before anybody else. Because anytime I come to this room, I feel like there's somebody in here. So it's probably a pretty active step in the quest that people are constantly trying to capture and it looks like you can sell those too so there might be people doing that just to get the scale to resell it which who knows maybe i can just go buy them and that would be easier but all right let's zip up there to the troll fair and find this lady we're supposed to talk to all right here we are i actually had a really nice conversation with this iris she i'm assuming is from the old sheikah server from the merge but Iris, I don't know if you're going to check out this episode or not, but thanks so much for chatting with me. It was nice to get some advice on how this is going to progress. Apparently, Iris just took out one of these characters. And I got to say, the room here is pretty cool. These look like little sausages, but look at the little voodoo dolls and stuff going on back here. That's fun. And this is a very well-endowed lady, Yova Etna. All right, let's see what Yova has to say. <laughs> I've been expecting you, and I already know what you're going to ask me, old graybeard. You're so predictable. I also know that you were about to forget to give me that 100 commas you must pay to ask me a question. So I think I'll remind you of it right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, ask for information, ask for information about the creature's location. So I guess that's what we need to know. Over whom would you like me to cast my divinatory eye? Helmina, the dragon pig, Numcop Woodley, Ezrat's the protester, and Edis the killjoy. The dragon pig and Helmina. 
Well, I remember Helmina. I think she was the lady that was in the evil forest when we went back. I wonder why we would track her down. Maybe that's a different quest. All right, so let's say, let's try Edis the Killjoy. I have no reason to believe that Edis is in the Cania Plains. All right, well, let's try another one. The protester. There is nothing on the horizon and not even the tiniest hint that anything is coming in the near future. <laughs> oh, at least she let us know that one's a little ways off. And let's go ahead and ask the last one. Wow, this cuts to me a hundred bucks a pop. All I see is the glimmering sun and the shimmering dew on the grass. <laughs> well, so much for that. All right, well, I guess that's where we're going to have to stop the video for tonight but that's okay i didn't want tonight's video to be too long because i got that giveaway going on remember if you want to partake in the giveaway leave a comment below of the favorite video that you have in all of my videos and why and then you'll be entered in for that random giveaway for the youtube cloak which i have one left i wish i had more hopefully i'll be able to get a hold of more codes for giveaways down the road and comma if you're watching thank you again for those codes much appreciated that was really fun to do on the live stream something i've never gotten to do before but that's probably going to be it for tonight i do plan on having another stream team video sometime this next week and i also have the data collected for the next taylor video which are going to take you from level 100 to 120 both on echo and Elysale. i've gotten all this stuff together for both servers so those are the videos that are coming thank you guys all so much for being here and checking out another video if you could do me a favor and smack that like button really helps the channel out hopefully you like the new microphone and it's coming through crystal clear and my voice is sounding amazing and that's about it everybody be safe out there and i will see you on the next one